a company having its operations in other countries of the world is generally known as an international corporation or a multinational corporation the foreign operations of such companies are affected by many factors such as foreign exchange rates differing interest and tax rates of other countries complicated and complex accounting systems for incorporating the financial aspects of foreign operations and interventions by governments in the other countries now the principles of corporate finance are equally applicable to the international finance in international finance foreign exchange occupies a substantial portion and that is the reason that the foreign exchange markets provide valuable information and opportunities to international corporations for creating value for their shareholders there is a certain terminology that we need to understand before starting the uh, concept of foreign exchange the first term in this regard can be the cross rate this is the rate that is the implicit exchange rate between a uh, two non us con uh, currencies when both are quoted in terms of some other third currency that may be the us currency euro currency this is the money deposited in financial center of another country uh, for example euro dollars now euro dollars are the us uh, denom uh, currency denominated dollars that are deposited in deposited in banks outside the us banking system gilds these are the debt securities having their gilt edges and issued by a uh, british and irish governments london interbank offered rate or libor libor is the rate that most international banks charge one and other for overnight loans of euro dollar in uh, the london market foreign exchange and or forex market this is the market where the currency of one current uh, country is traded with the currency of other countries of the world if we talk about the list of or types of participants that play their financial role in the foreign exchange market at the global level uh, this list includes importers who need foreign currencies to settle their import bills exporters who receive foreign currency and they want to uh, convert this foreign currency into the currency of their home country portfolio managers who buy or sell foreign stocks and debt instruments forex brokers who participate to match their buy and sell orders the list includes also traders who make a market in foreign currencies and finally the speculators who try to earn profit while uh, with the help of changing uh, changes in the foreign exchange rates of different currencies of uh, different countries in the world we can define foreign exchange rate as the price of currency of one country in expressed in terms of the uh, currency of another country there are two types of uh, exchange rate codes one is called as direct or american code and the other is called as indirect or european code in direct or american code it refers to the number of dollars to buy one unit of a foreign currency whereas the indirect quote refers to the amount of foreign currency one needs to have in order to buy one us dollar uh, let's take an example to understand these quotes 
uh, for example we need to have japanese yen to buy uh, with available uh, $1000 and the exchange rate per dollar is equal to 118.62 yen so we need to uh, have uh, one like eighteen thousand and six hundred and twenty yens to purchase one thousand dollars at the exchange rate of one hundred and eighteen point six two yen per US dollar. And what amount of dollars we need to buy a Porsche that cost hundred thousand euros, whereas the exchange rate of euro for per dollar is equal to 1.2452 this means we need to have a uh, 124520 dollars to uh, euros to purchase a Porsche that cost 100000 US dollars